it's always generally nice when someone sends me actually like games out of the goodness of their hearts. Uh, another parcel, another week, another fan has sent me a few games. Uh, let's see what I got. I could appear too many games. He has too many. Hello guys, went to PS Too Many Games, another glorious week for the channel. I hope. <laughs> All since it's uh, been a good week personally, nothing horrible has gone wrong. I don't know of. Uh, Paranoia's kicking in. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, it's been a right week for me. Uh, on a personal level, uh, things are alright. Obviously I'm now in uh, not so much skin flint mode, I'm now in uh, save money for next gaming market mode. I believe there's one in September. I don't know if it's Milton Keynes or Norwich, but there's definitely one in September. That'll be the next big place I'm going to. So it's time to literally save the pennies and get ready to hopefully get lucky at the next game market. I think that made sense. I hope that made sense. Dave, did that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> now, as you can see, I received another parcel. Obviously, you're not going to see my address. Not that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I don't usually, I don't say people's full names on YouTube because I like I, I respect their privacy because they respect mine, I respect theirs. So I will affectionately call the person who sent this person Mr. H. <laughs> so Mr. H lives in Norfolk. Uh, he reached out to me through Instagram and basically said, I'm a, I'm a collector. I've got a lot of games. I'm looking to cut down a couple, few things. Is there anything you're interested in? And we've been going back and forth for the last month and he's a very nice human being. And uh, we came to, came to like, I would like, if you can give away these games, I'd, well not give away. If you're happy with me taking these games, how much do you want for it? And he goes, no, it's, no, nothing. It's like, pardon? He goes, no, you're going for free. It's like, I don't like that. And I'm genuinely honest when I say, I don't like getting free stuff. I don't think I've earned it. I don't like getting free random games. So I like offered to pay for it. And he said, no, it's free. And it's like, reluctantly I said, okay, okay, I'll be honest. Thank you very much. And then, he went through a, uh, <clears throat> well, he had uh, some issues that he had to take care of. Uh, and uh, basically I gave him time, because obviously you do, because he had uh, more important issues than giving someone games. And uh, two or three weeks later, he finally sent the package, which he did. He promised he would, and he did. And uh, I got it inside a day, Mr. H. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much. But generally, this, the person he gave me is gave uh, a genuine nice human being. I hope things get better. Uh, Jenny, thank you very much for this. We will go through this one by one. Now, I'll be brutally honest. I think I know what's in this package. I can't remember everything, but there appears to be. So I've got that point where I can like tell one, four, four or five games in there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I can just like feel a package now. It's like, yeah, I know what that is. I know what that is. Uh, do love the packaging, by the way. You do know how to parcel. That's what we'll go with that one. <laughs> But anyway, so this obviously will be, I hope, I think this is the Sunday episode, because this will be the Sunday episode. New system, I'm still trying to get used to it. So, Dave's probably in charge of this episode, so the, he will be doing the editing. So have fun with that one, Dave. Uh, <laughs> so obviously in the future, we've still got five CXs to go through. Uh, Scumthorpe, Cataract, Sutton in Ashfield, Chesterfield, and Crystal Peaks. <laughs> I got it, yay! I got it. They're still to come. So that's probably gonna happen in the next two to three weeks on the channel. Uh, I think Scumfort will get his own episode because I did better there than I did, than did some of the other CXs from memory. I mean, it's all over there in like lovely parcel packages, so. Yeah, uh, I need to do a top 10 of games I need to really, well, I need to find sooner rather than later because there are some games that are just like obscure. Uh, basically, so what's the what's the main aim for the rest of this year? Because for those of you who remember, I did a, at the start in January, I did an episode of what I want to achieve. Obviously, I've already achieved one of my main things. I bought one of the top three games, all of those. Uh, basically, now I want to. It might sound really stupid. The next two months, I want to really start like actually fixing the uh, games room. I keep forgetting to order the uh, shelves because <laughs> uh, the only only money I'll be spending this month will be on shelving and like improving items so you know what i mean uh, we want to i will film it like bit by bit what i'm doing because i want to actually get it better uh 
if I it's from I'm glad to Google this. I don't know if I don't, I don't know if I can but if I can get like a bright neon PS2, that'd be amazing. You can tell how old I am when I use the word neon. Neon has not been popular in years. <laughs> like WWF like neon, like boom. <laughs> The kind of neon where you just walk in the room, you don't need a light bulb anymore. The neon just does all the lighting for you. <laughs> that kind of thing. If I can get something like that, that would be kind of awesome. You could tell I was born in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, off, off the top of my head, a game I really want to find sooner or later, and it might sound really weird, is Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends. That is a rare game. You would have thought a Koei game wouldn't be that like super rare, especially one of the common franchises Koei do, but Samurai Warriors 2 XL is extremely rare. It's not that super expensive, like between 40 and 60 quid, but it's one of those games where it's like, I've never seen a physical copy before. So it's one of those games I want to look, because I actually like those franchises, I've played them. So I'm going to have to probably search for that sooner rather than later, because it's getting at a point where it's like, I want to find it sooner rather than later. And that sounded so terrible, but I'm ab-libbing, so go with it. <laughs> Pretty much it for information. So we're going to throw a commercial here right now. We actually get to the opening of the parcel. I will see you on the other side. Skadoosh. Hey, you just said the magic word, now look what you did. And look, advanced video games for less at Toys R Us. The Sega Master System, with 28K of memory, super sharp picture, 64 colors, plus game cartridge, and all this, just $129.99. And it plays these thin Sega cards packed with 256K of unlimited game power, from $24.99 to $29.99 each. It's the world's biggest toy store. Let's go! Do with this room when I empty it, that's a good point. Uh, I suppose TV can go there, get some fucking neon somewhere. Yeah, anyway, I'll oh, screw it. Welcome back. <laughs> right, it's opening time, so bear me a second. Once again, thank you for sending these parcels with the H, I appreciate it immensely. <sighs> this is the only problem where you do like, like I, I could get a Stanley knife for this, but it's like, no, my luck, I'll trip and I'll somehow stab myself. Haha! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's everything. See? It's quite a decent job. <clears throat> there's three games that uh, Mr. H has sent me. I appreciate immensely all three of these games. Uh, first one, it's a, it's it's sports shovelware, but I haven't found it yet. WTA Tall Tennis. Uh, and it's, it's a Konami game, so it actually might play well. But I think I mentioned before, tennis is one of the most boring sports, in my opinion. All I do is literally just hit it back and forth. <laughs> with the occasional grunting. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies say that the grunt helps their helps their their force. Bullshit. <laughs> Utter bullshit. Grunting in nearly 95% of all life happenings is not needed. <laughs> God that was terrible English. But yeah, at what point it's like Granny, he wants us to grind everything. Tennis, ah, mowing the lawn, ah, playing chess. Ah. <laughs> so, why do you grunt while moving your pawn? Oh, it just gives me more impetus. Pawn to king four. Ah. <laughs> it's a load of bollocks. I hate tennis. It's such a middle upper class white man sport. It's shit. And anyone likes it, I apologise, but I think it's shit. I can't emphasise enough. It shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna upset someone doing that. So I've got it. WTA Tours Tennis. And I'm always, I'm gonna take a guess. It shit. <laughs> Game number two that I received from Mr. H for free. Uh, Motocross Mania 3. Now, it's one of the many Motocross ATX and X games, but if you notice, <sighs> 2K made this game. The same people who made the amazingly well made WWE games in the last five years. So this probably was a good game, but I'm now going to ask Dave to try and splice some amazing WWE uh, 2K games that totally had no graphical issues, <laughs> <laughs> totally did not make any, did not uh, break games, and totally did not stop me buying WWE games for the rest of my life. Have fun with this one, Dave. <laughs> Yeah! 
Jesus! This probably was a good game, so I'll give it a try. Mm. The last game actually was a massive win for me personally. So the next game I actually had since I was a boy, and uh, I think I told you before when I had <laughs> this. When I moved house, when I moved house, I found a lot of my old games, and uh, I can play this. So, first of all, it's Dragon Rage, right? Dragon Rage. So, I actually owned this when I was a boy, and I still had the case. Uh, but I didn't find the disc. The disc has been AFA missing in action for 20 years, maybe. But I kept the case because I'm not going to buy the disc, it's not expensive. Uh, so, I've kept it on the wall as a sign of remember to do this. Problem with that is, I forgot to do it. <laughs> My memory is like a sieve. So,. <clears throat> When they said, he said you can have this for free, it's like I would. That would be amazing to have this for free because I haven't got to look for that game anymore. Obviously, it's a 3DO game, so for those who remember the story about 3DO, <laughs> I'm not going to go through it again. I've gone through it like three or four times. Uh, the man was the epitome of keep going. You will also be successful one day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 3DO game. This game, I actually like this game. Some people might hate it. I like it. So. <laughs> Very happy to have this again, so I now have an empty case. Because some people might ask this now, how do you keep track of what games don't have case? Like, there's only two games that I actually have a case for, but don't actually have the game. That was one of them. Uh, the other one, I sorted out a long time ago, so I ain't got to do that anymore, which means I haven't got to search for like, just random CDs, it's back to think, back to like, uh, back to reality. Up oh, there goes gravity. I don't, I don't, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Anyone, any collector, any collector who's got tons of stuff will tell you this. You forget the smallest things, and it's only until you get like a lot, lot, lot. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Just remix it, Dave. Just remix me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Anyone will tell you point blank. As a collector, there's always going to be one thing you forget to replace or forget that you need to do. This was one of them, Dragon Raid. So when I saw it, it's like, I think I ain't got that. You know, I went for it, it's like, okay. I remember, because I've, obviously I've got the list that anyone can download. I've also got a different list, a more detailed, like handwritten list. Uh, it's a big list. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing it for two years. It's, it's, you know when someone goes too detailed into it, that I went too much detail into that, so. Yeah, uh, that's my list. list. My, I'll never show that list to anyone because I need that list for my own sanity. This was one of those games I needed just to disc for. So this actually, this was a massive win. So thank you, Mr. H. Uh, I always feel weird to get back about getting free games. So thank you for giving them to me for free. I would rather prefer to pay for certain things, but if uh, you're good to see how you did that, thank you very much. If you want to put a comment on the video, if you want to just say it was me, because <laughs> I know who it was, is obviously. If you want to do that, you can, but if you want to keep your privacy, I fully understand. Uh, that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. We are, once again, we are slowly getting there. <laughs> uh, we were above 1600 gains before the start of the month. Uh, we will be close to 1700 by the end of the month. Uh, we won't get to 1700, but we'll be getting over halfway to 1700 games. And we're now getting to that point where we're really starting to struggle. And we've still got a good 600 games to go. <laughs> but a good amount of them are the expensive games, so I knew that was going to happen. But now the obscure, cheap games, real hard struggle to find them, so. <clears throat> and once again, I did say uh, last week I'll try to slow down my speech. That clearly has not worked. <laughs> they will have fun editing this, editing this one. Oh my God. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have a good week. I'll see you later. I'll see you Sunday, actually. Bye.